everyone. I hope you're all having a lovely day. So today I, I was hoping to share with you some of the ways that I make bookmarks at home from recycled materials such as napkins and movie tickets to candy wrappers or anything else. I used to collect these um, bookmarks, I think they call them, I don't know what they're called in English, as well as these napkins. So I have so many of them and I'd love to put them to use. I'll also be using some washi tape and other materials but these are just the basics that I'm going to try and incorporate. Here I've cut a napkin into two pieces and I'm gonna cut it again and then I'm just gonna fold the corners and fold them in half and I'm making two at the same time so I'm just doing the same to the other one. Since the napkins are so dark, I decided to do some cursive writing type of style on the side and now I'm just gonna cut it out and I'm going to put it onto the napkins just by using tape to secure it in the beginning. I'm also using some washi tape to secure and mostly just decorate since I'm going to be putting them through the laminator later anyways. Also I'm sick so apologies for my voice, I'm going to try to do my best anyways. So on my second one I just glued the sides together with tape and now I'm using one of those bookmarks I talked about. I think Google Translate translates them to scraps, um, I don't know if that's right or not. On my second bookmark, I'm just using another napkin and I'm going to make a corner one out of this. So I'm putting the little scrap at the corner where the napkin folds over. Also, I found that when the napkin and everything is thinner, then it goes better through the laminator. If any of you are interested in using the laminator. I do understand that not everyone has laminator and that it's a privilege and you can also just use tape to tape all the way around. It's just for, for preservation but you can also use those things that you use to coat your notebooks with and stuff in school and it also works pretty well. I'll be using these techniques later as well so you guys can see. I cut them out and to make one of them a corner bookmark. I'm just going to tape one of the sides together so that it can fit of the corner of the book page. These work really well and they're also really cute and I made some variations that I can show you guys at the end of the video. I'm planning on doing some different binding te techniques for these and I'm just going to staple a hole in the first one and just put a ribbon through it, uh, make a loop and put it through the loop. Super easy and also most common ways of doing this. For the other one, I decided to make uh, many holes and I tried to braid a uh, black string and make it into this intricate pattern. I just ended up putting it kind of in a spiral through and it ended up being much more simple than I actually originally planned. But I think it ended up looking nice, but if I actually had planned that from the beginning, I would have just done many more holes than I originally planned. So while you guys can watch while I'm braiding this black string and putting on the bookmark, I just wanted to give a big thank you to everyone who subscribed and watches my videos because I probably wouldn't have done this video, the bookmark video, and done these bookmarks at all if it wasn't for all the people who watch, you know? And I'm just really thankful because it was so nice doing these bookmarks and I probably wouldn't have done all the crafts in the past and everything that I did if it wasn't for YouTube. And I just want to give a big shout out to everyone who's been active and who stayed with me for a long period of time. I'd also forgotten how much fun these crafts were and maybe I'll do some more in the future. I made a knot, put a bead through, and made a knot again, and then those two bookmarks are done. My next mark bookmark is going to be made out of this ginger candy box that I've saved. These ginger candies are my favorite candies and they're so great. I remember when I was small, I actually was chewing these while we were watching the Mamma Mia musical. And I think that's what it was, or maybe it was Alice in Wonderland, the first movie. And I was chewing these and I remember just like feeling a pop. And then I asked my mom, like, I need to go out, like, my, my mouth is filling up with blood. And then we had to leave, like, in the middle of the movie or the um, theater. And that's when I lost one of my first teeth. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just coating it with tape and then I'm puncturing two holes, I'm putting string through and then I'm just adding a bead with a knot at top. First time I tried to make this next bookmark out of this pastel packet, I basically tried to iron it and as you guys can see it didn't go very successfully, so don't do that at home kids. But I'm just going to tape it at the back, straighten out the edges with a scissor and tape out the top and the bottom as well. And then I'm just adding a little scrap of Aurora at the back. Uh, this is definitely not necessary, I just thought it was cute. I'm puncturing a hole and then I'm adding this silk band like I did in the first one and it just ended up looking really cute. For this last bookmark, I'm just going to be taping two movie tickets back to back, a movie I had a really good time watching, and I'm going to put some stickers on them, um, just fun ones. I realized later that it's not such a great idea doing this with movie tickets because instead of preserving the actual stamp, it, the stamp actually worn away after putting the plastic on. So um, this can be used with any other thing like uh, candy wrappers and such but not really movie tickets. I don't really know any good way of explaining how to do this, but I basically just put on the plastic and try not to get any bubbles by using the ruler, and I put on one of each side and just cut the corners out. This might be a good alternative to laminating. So now we're coming to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here you guys can see some of the other bookmarks that I made. And I made two corner ones, uh, one made out of a sticker. I had really fun doing this. And if you also decide to do this, then you can tag me on Instagram and show me the picture. I'd love to see it. My Instagram will be found in the description. I hope you guys all have a lovely day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.